Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Yes, You're having your morning coffee? I am having my morning coffee, Excellent. Yeah. I've just had my tea. My colleagues are very much coffee drinkers, so I'm in a minority as an Englishman. No, well, I, no it's normally one cup of coffee a day and the rest is all tea. <laughs> Excellent. The, the, long, um, the long hotel breakfasts yes. start with tea, and if I was there for a long time, it would end with a cup of coffee. Excellent. That's the standard, so... Uh, yeah. Well, I, um, a while ago, went to visit Declan, Ken, Declan Costello, our, um, the ENT guy, um, and yeah. he basically told me that I was drinking far too much tea. When, when I told him how much tea I was drinking, because I, I was just having some weird sort of feelings at the back of my throat, he was like, how many cups of tea you drink? And I was like, about 10 a day. And he was like, yeah, that's too much, two maximum. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So I changed it, which is good. But anyway, thank you so much for speaking. It's lovely to see you. Um, it's a great pleasure. And it's, yeah, it's really great. So how are you getting on in this really strange period that we find ourselves in? Well, actually quite well. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of in, in work dress. I have a tie ready oh. for when I'm online with pupils. Yes. Um, but yeah, I've already been um, online for registration this morning for my two tutor groups. Um, which is very weird because they they all call in on Skype okay. um, from around the world. I mean, there's you know they're in places around. Them. So the day really, this has become the corner of uh, one of my rooms has become my my classroom. That's so. Funny. And I have a slightly um, curious setup um, underneath my. This is I'm using my King Singer's um, iPad. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, which I still use quite a lot, but it is it is resting on my school computer. Uh, in in itself, is resting on a pile of library books on a table that is slightly wobbly. Um, which um, I've just discovered. So, I know the feeling. We we've been um, in this. You know, obviously now that we can't be together, we yeah. are um, trying to put together um, you know material from us recording separately. And I was really, really sceptical to start with about it. And I actually wrote one of my blogs about, about the whole process and how in comparison to being in the lineup and having that amazing feeling of things working and everyone working in the same direction at such a high um, level of precision, it really is quite lacking in comparison. But um, it actually really, really works unbelievably. Um, but one of the funny things about it is exactly the same thing as what you just mentioned you know, in order to get the exact height and the angles correct and the camera in the right place and not having anything in the background. We've got like books piled on top of pillows, on top of a stand, you know, it's just, it's hilarious. And we actually yesterday decided to take pictures of our like home recording studios to kind of send, you know, to put out there to show people because it, it was kind of hilarious. I mean, Bruce sent me one of some sort of tray device resting on a bed, you know. <laughs> It is a bit weird. I mean, you, you know, you do find yourself. I mean, I, I, I'm teaching singing lessons in mm. in my study um, at the piano, and that's a rather elegant backdrop. Yeah. Um, with a rather nice sort of um, red. It's called summer pudding. Uh, dark red uh, wallpaper. This is rather boring, mm. but um, the expectation is that you try and limit the amount of. Uh, sort of personal effects yes. in the background to try yeah. and maintain it as a, as a, as a, as a sort of public space. Mm. Uh, but it is strange. I mean, you know, actually a lot of the kit works surprisingly well. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I found out what, what system are the KS using for recording? Well, in terms of just meeting, like we're just, we realised that we couldn't, there wasn't sort of a system that would allow us to sing together in real time. No, so. Absolutely. Yeah, so in terms of recording, so far we have just been using iPhones. Um, I think two of two of them, Pat and Nick, have a Zoom, so they're yes. using those. But yeah, we're using just the i our iPhones to record. But it's weird in that you have to have for obviously for we we've been doing and so it goes, which obviously we all know off by heart. So you don't need to look at any music for that. So you've just got to have something playing the recording that you're singing along to in the background and then a recording device. But when we were doing the, the John Passion from Isolation with um, Positive Note and the Oxford Bach soloists, um, 
I had to have three devices. My iPhone to, or actually my mum's iPhone to record, because the iPhone's <laughs> better to record, my iPhone to play the music, and then yeah. the iPad to, to, um, to, to watch, to look at the music, um, which just seems a little bit absurd, really, but it somehow managed to work, which was, which was a joy. Well, it did, I, I mean, I'm looking at, you know, that as a possibility for, for school. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, I mean, I work at a, a boarding school and so we are not in residence. Yeah. Uh, we are all sort of wherever we are. So lessons go on, um, singing lessons, uh, music lessons seem to work quite well. And the poor people teaching the organ are <laughs> unable to uh, continue. With yeah. this. There's only so much sort of music theory you can give mm. in a lesson. Mm. But uh, particularly those of us that uh, teach singing are, 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 are lucky because obviously there's no issue with, oh, I left yeah. my instrument mm. at school. Uh, no, you didn't. It's, it came with <laughs> you. Um, but it works surprisingly well. And, you know, um, and actually class lessons are, are, are quite sort of perky, mm. um, I have to say. Um, you know, you, you, the, the usual people chime in with the comments mm. and the other people sit quite mutely at the back <laughs> um in the, very much the same way but it, you know it is a, it is a strange time you know i'm now mm. this is now week the big well i uh, it is now five weeks since mm. i sort of came home when the school last term ended it early yeah and, and we went online and mm. i have been here with the dog and you know, not really seeing people beyond you know the ability to shout mm. from a few feet distance, and mm. hardly. I mean, I've driven fourteen miles in mm. five weeks. Yeah. Uh, um, and apart from, and I probably walked about one hundred and fifty miles. In yeah. Five. <laughs> it's a reversal, um, isn't it? Yeah, which is actually really rather good. I mean, yeah. we're lucky here. We've had amazing weather. Mm. And actually, I found the whole thing quite cathartic. It's been quite a quite a positive existence. Yeah. I would like it to be, you know, t I'd like to know when it was going to end. Yeah. Number no. one. I'm also aware that we are really lucky. Yeah. Um, we have a, um, you know, we have comfortable places to be. Mm. Um, jigsaws to complete, I see. <laughs> yes. in front of Not you. me. My, my, my family are doing that. I don't have the patience for it. Um, um. I haven't succumbed to that. I haven't succumbed to any subscriptions for um, for, for sort of Netflix or mm. Apple what, film or whatever. I, I, I had great intentions of doing that and actually run out of mm. time. I can't quite mm. work out where the time goes. I totally agree. It, it is flying by. And, and I totally also sympathise with the fact that you're saying that, you know, lots of us are lucky. I, I do feel very privileged in this, in that I have my family nearby and we have a garden to go into and things like that. And, you know, we can, we've got the countryside relatively near to walk. Um, and I, I to basically, I totally agree with everything you're saying. I, I've seen lots and lots of positives, you know, amidst, of course, all the negatives that you see from afar on the television and, and the radio. I, I've tried to, to be honest, to not not focus on it too much because if you if you listen to the news in the morning, it's just just nothing. You know, occasionally now other stories are trickling through, but it's mostly just just the coronavirus stuff for obvious reasons. But um, but yeah, it's also we've got our dogs here, which is really lovely. Is it possible to see your dog? Um, Nelly, Nelly, Aww. come here, come here, come on, here come. Nelly, she called. Yeah. Here she oh, is. hello, Nelly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's so she, sweet. What sort of dog been, is she? She's a, a mutt. Oh. She's, she's probably, I think, um, if I was being a, a Patterdale cross. Okay. She's a beauty. Um, she's, a, she's she was she's boiling hot actually. She was she likes to lie. There's a sofa in the window. Yep. And it's in the sunshine, and she likes to be. In the sunshine, normally she will. At this point, she will be lying out in the middle of the lawn. Yeah, get way too hot and come in and hide in a corner of this room where it's cool, oh. and then go out and get boiling hot again. But she, the front door and the back door are both closed whilst I teach. Yeah, just to keep the noise out, so um, she can't actually gain access to that. But I mean, I must say, actually being forced to go out for a decent walk every mm. day. 
is brilliant. Yeah, it's which of course the dog makes you, as you said. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah, that's really important. Sits down beside me. Yeah. Oh, and, that's uh, so sweet. Yeah, that's very nice. I mean, you know, it was one of the one of the aspects of of the King Singer's life that was uh, one of the very, 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 very few. Um, sort of minor negatives was you know the inability mm. to have a dog mm. and um so i have made up for that she, yes she needed rehoming oh. um about three, just over three years ago so i took her on and i mean she's an absolute gem That's so um, sweet. i had heard that that you i think i saw a video of of your last um occasion at the ta uh, mormon tabernacle and i think someone made a really lovely speech about about you and your time and I, um, I think I remember them saying about how yes, you you wanted to have a dog, um, so I kind of was aware that that, that was an ambition of yours. It um, was, and it was it was achieved. Not quite the dog I was I was expecting to get a Labrador puppy. Oh. Um, and uh, I mean, at some point I may, but mm. um, she's brilliant. And well, and actually, the ability I've suddenly realised how uh, as as a sort of some kind of terrier, mm. she's pretty terrier. She's very yeah. terrier in terms of character. Um, the great thing about them is if they get filthy, you could just pick them up and throw them in the bath. Yes. And, um, you know, whereas uh, one of my colleagues um, has a, um, you know, a, not a Pyrenean mountain dog, but a Bernese or something mm. like that. Um, called Huge. Arthur. <laughs> and he is, could end up up to 85 kilos. Blimey. That's um, scary. And he is... He gets very, very muddy. Yeah. And, and thick hair as well, they have, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And, and he's slobbing. He's wonderful. He slobbers everywhere. <laughs> and you think, actually, a small dog. Yeah. Not bad. We actually have both. We have a tiny little dog, um, a King Charles Chihuahua Cross, who's um, really timid, really, really timid, um, and doesn't really want to, to be or sort of touch anyone. And then we have a, a Labradoodle puppy who is much, oh, yes. much more. Um, well, she doesn't really look like either Labrador or Poodle. She's really, she's very, quite small actually. But my gosh, we've, we've, we didn't realise some of the things that um, having a puppy entailed. We, we found apparently there was a period I think when I was last on tour where little um, doggy baby teeth were being found all around the house, <laughs> oh, really? which is so sweet. And then also slightly later on, uh, more recently, sadly, when I was at home, um, she um, went on heat, which I won't go into the detail of that, but it was not the nicest. So <laughs> there's two things that we absolutely would never have expected um, when we got a puppy, but obviously we can deal with it and it's not a problem. But but yeah, they do bring such joy. They're great. Um, yeah, they're brilliant. Um, but I mean, they don't really, they're not really compatible with King Singer's traveling no. life. But I live at the moment while I settle into the while I've been settling into the job. I I live with my parents, so they um they look after the the pets when I'm away. Um, but yeah, I was just about to start looking for my own place when all this sort of happened. So I'm hoping that that when it's over, I'll be able to sort of start doing that sooner rather than later. Yes. Oh but, well, it's absolutely it gone. But I was just I was just saying, you know, I'm I I. I'm looking forward to the time when um, I can see I can see on Facebook and other forms of social media uh, the, your reports from touring again. Yeah, uh, I think that's what that's what the King thing is is all about. It is, um, and I'm certainly chance. missing it now, really a lot actually. You know, as I said at the start, that the joy that we get, and you'll know this from years doing it, of, of just singing together. Like, we, we are known for singing live and being able to do all sorts of things live. And it is, it's just wonderful. And, you know, however amazing the end result of doing stuff from home with clever technology and clever people using that technology, um, it's not the same as being there and doing it in the moment with our actual voices and nothing else. No technology, no microphones. Um, and so I'm re I am really missing that now, and I'm super looking forward to getting back to it um, with my colleagues. And also, you know... Well, I was reminded of that at Pat's wedding. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I oh. stood in for um, a, a piece um, by James yeah. Littleton. Yeah. And, and actually, when I saw you in Guernsey when I was there sailing last summer... Oh, that and, was so uh, lovely. And just and, and standing there and going, oh yes, I sort of forgot mm. how 
how fantastic that is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love that. You know, just getting the chance to sing with you for that and those two occasions, <laughs> which was lovely. Um. So yeah. Well, thank you so much, David. It's really, really lovely to speak to you. Um. I know all of lots of our um fans will love seeing you and seeing your dog. Um, <laughs> and thank you so much. Keep keep well, and um, I hope to see you really soon, and hope that things get back to normal. Wonderful. Cool. See ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.